It's a month of October, beautiful month where legends are born. Yes, it's a pink month as well, and it's a month uh, set aside to create awareness for breast cancer. And that's the reason why I'm wearing pink. I have an exclusive interview with somebody for you as we do it on the show about my beautiful friend. She's called Juliet. Juliet uh, owns Beautiful Benet and she is doing something, you know, really incredible here. And I decided to pass by. She says I should pass by and get my breast screen. And that is exactly what I'm about to do. So please join me let's see what Juliet has inside and then we can move on uh, to our very special guest for today this is E with Bex and Spade so I told everybody that I'm coming to visit you sure. You know, beautiful beneath, we talk about breast health all year long. Okay. So all year we, 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 we just um, talk about education of women wearing the right size bra so that they're not hurting because they're wearing the wrong size bra and taking pain medication or because they're not wearing the right size bra, they are curved and they're having a curvature of the spine and all that. Okay. So all year long we do that. But it's been a breast cancer month awareness yes october which, october pink october we're trying to create more awareness okay um to tell people that they need to go get screened and take it further because early detection is a key can you help me get myself tested no. definitely okay <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> My whole breast is in the hands of Dr. Emilia, <laughs> and we'll go inside and have myself checked. Yes, definitely. The breast is primarily, but then that's just my opinion. Okay. So maybe someone else will have a different opinion, which is actually true, but mm -hmm. I think the breast is primarily for babies. Everything else is secondary. So okay. men enjoy the breast, which is great but the men don't come before the babies. My breast is done and it's, it's okay now. Yeah, so it's great. I can move on and talk to our guest uh, who is actually waiting for us right now. So uh, when we come back, Kwao Kese is my guest. Hello everybody, my name is Van Vick. I'm an actor, filmmaker, and uh, now and again, I try to find information, especially entertainment information, and I hop around a few times. But nowadays, I've stopped hopping. I'm stuck to E with Bex, right here on Joy Prime. Do the same and go nowhere. Peace, baby. Yo, this is Squaw Kesse and it's going down. One to sell pokum. What is it? I'm rocking with E with Bex, live on your TV. That's what it is. E with Bex. The interview you've been waiting for, the personality you've been waiting for, I am currently inside 1124. I hope I got that right. Matt Time Studio. And the Matt Time boss is right here to talk and to David. This is Iwe Bex. You're so welcome. Thank I want to you. hug you. Oh. Have you screened your breast? No. Oh, you don't have, have a breast. Yeah, I just, I just. How, how do you do it? Well, you, you're not can, supposed can to touch, touch it. No, you can't touch. It's okay. Let Maybe me just... I can touch your hand with it. Okay, so like that, you just... <laughs> it's the month of October. If you haven't checked your breast yet, you should go and check. I just got myself checked and... Um, when you go home, just make your wife feel comfortable and check, my and check the for breast for uh, any possible Maybe breast cancer. Maybe I can check hers for her, then she can also check mine. Yeah, yeah. But what do you make of that, though? Um, I mean, I think, I think it's a good, it's a good thing. You know, um, you don't want to wait till yeah. the, the the bad news happens. Yeah. You know, so, so go go and check it out, check it and master be safe out there you know we want you beautiful ladies to check the bobo but we love them <laughs> thank you so much for coming 
Thank you. You're so welcome back. You were inside the U.S. I mean, for the records, he was in the U.S. He just came back. So some snow-ish, body-ish. No, it's summer-ish. So oh, it was summer. Yeah, you ain't too crying down. Yes. Yeah, I'm too crying. So it was summer. How how was it? What 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 did you go there to do? Um, couple of shows. Um, okay. I did two shows while I was there. I did one um, um, with Cassidy at the Highline Ballroom. Wow. And, yeah, and um, I did another one in Virginia. It was um, with Obrafo. Obrafo had a white party. Okay. Yeah. And, okay. Um, I, I saw a video of you on social media yeah. uh, where we had fans across the world, yeah. you know, going crazy yeah. about Kwakase. Yeah. 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 And it, it got to me. I'm like, okay, this guy is not yet. The career is not yet dead because a lot of people, you know, say that. Yeah, yeah, a lot oh, of Kwakase people. Yeah, they, they, you know, it's, it's not a lot of people. Some some group of some people. Group of people. I call them the saw me movement. Saw me movement. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, they they've been going about saying career is dead. So mm. I resurrected. I'm a ghost right now, and I'm I'm scaring them all. You know, <laughs> they see me and they run. So what have you resurrected with? With a new song or, or yeah, what yeah, exactly? I have, I have a lot of songs um, that I dropped. Um, I released um, um, recently. I released um, um, Papers. Papers. Yeah, and okay. um, I released My Abodam featuring um, Bisake Day. Okay. Yeah, and. Okay. Um, that is after Katiboom. Katiboom currently is the biggest hip hop song in, 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 in Ghana right now. And we have the video right yeah, here playing video, on your screen. Yeah, the video is right there. You can you can check it out, yeah. you know. And um you know there's been a lot of you know here and there. Mm. So I decided to come back to Ghana and continue dropping bangers for my fans. So mm. after after Katiboom we dropped um papers, we dropped Marbodam. I did a little bit of um Repercussions, a song that I released, um, Hammer released, okay. that the promotion wasn't tight. So um, I did a little video um, for it, okay. and um, the fans love it. Okay. You know, yeah. So that is what has been happening. And um, currently, if you can listen, there's a song banging, you know, behind at the, at the background. Uh, okay, let's let's allow them to listen to that. I'm the one mixing the song. <laughs> like. Charlie, what's the title of this one? Um, this is Pokum. Pokum. Yeah, uh, Pokum. P O R K U M. P P O R K. K U M. Pokum. What What does it mean? Um, Pokum is a uh, uh, big mouth. Big mouth. Uh, yeah, yeah. You see. When you you cut the head of the um, the pig, okay, and you cook it, the mouth, you know, okay, and hono star now your pork. Ah, mm. so it, it, the pork has been derived from the word pork. Yeah, and um, in other words, literally, it also means somebody like a talkative. Okay, a yeah, talkative. Yeah. So if you have big mouth and you talk too much, then your mouth is pork. Okay, so what what is what is the whole idea of pokum? Um, I mean, you, you know, um, this the music is full of terminologies. People okay. like new terms when they come, and they are the, the, is, is, is a kind of trend. You know, um, recently I did I did a, a short video, and I, I said pokum. Okay, and that 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 video was actually uh, directed to Shatawale. Yeah, I, of course. I'm sure. Yeah. What happened? Um, he, he was throwing um, jabs at me, going on radio and, you know, trying to disrespect me. Mm. So, um, I was out there in the U.S. and I, I watched yeah. the video. Okay. I didn't hear, I watched the video. Somebody sent me the video. And they were asking me if I have a problem with him. And I said, no. So, um, I was, I was surprised and um, I didn't know why my school son would go on radio and be, you know, disrespecting me. So, I was like, hey, why one say a pokum? 
you mm, know, and everybody took talk, it personal. You know. So do, do you do you think that it's healthy? I for uh, us who are not you know really into the music industry, yeah. you are in the music industry. Is it some kind of um, hyping for uh, at both sides, or it's actually real? Um, you know, music. Um, the, the, what we do when is show business. Okay. Yeah. So, and the two, two always, you know, go together. You can't okay. do the show without the business. business. And you can't do the business without, without the, show. the show. And sometimes people forget about the show and they concentrate more on the business. Okay. Um, you know, I think what I'm doing is show business, entertainment. Entertainment. You know, yeah, I definitely. said a word that is trending. Okay. And, so you um, took advantage I, of it. Yeah, and use it to do a song so my fans can enjoy the song. You mm. know, the, the word has come to stay. Okay. So with, if I make a song out of it, then, you know, it, it wouldn't be just a word. But it becomes a song and that it shows, people can jam and it shows with. And how that creative is entertainment you are. And that, that is showbiz, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. But uh, how many years in the music industry? Um, are you there, or you're still, you know, gearing towards where you want to get? You want um, to get to? My story, there. I don't have to, you know. They say blow your own trumpet. Trumpet. Sometimes I don't have to blow my own trumpet, cause. You can you can play my songs the whole day, mm. and it's banging. All my songs are legendary. You know, I never released any song that you play today and tomorrow you don't want to hear. Mm. My songs from way back are still fresh in people's. Do, do you remember you know. any of them? Oh, my song like Amato um, Kwakwa, mm. song like Oye Nonsense, songs like Naya Talodim, oh, yeah. to Makwain, um, you know, for oh. the popping. I can I can go on and on and this songs always banging. They never you know hey uncle focus oh kwa won't do me kim and um yeah. yeah if you are listening to this manga and you can tell that, that you're still these are songs that will yeah. never fade away. I remember that one yeah. and you're still making hit songs yeah, yeah, yeah. and all that. Yeah. Any challenges so far? Um the, you the, know since uh, the, the inception of your uh, music and all that. Um, the, there's always challenges in whatever field you find yourself in. Yeah, but so, do you have any particular challenge, you know, growing up in this music industry? Um, this music industry wasn't paying, you know, when we were, we were, you know, bringing it up. Sure. Some of us started, um, you know, advocating for artists to be paid well. Some of us started advocating for um, artists um contracts to be reviewed okay. because um back in the days there was no social media you know social media just came from 2011 coming yeah 2012 yeah. 2013 yeah. it got you know hyper so we 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 survived from without back social, in the day, media. social media yeah so now the game has changed you know when we were you know when we were doing it it wasn't paying that big but now People are understanding the music business, yeah. and business and are investing into it. So, you know, it has changed. But um, the musician, the vibe has mm. never changed. Okay. Because I remember I've been, I would say I've been um, through um, the times of as, um, uh, the brush. Okay. 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 The times of um, um, appear to see in the mix. In the mix, in the yeah. Mix where, hey, to when Azonto, Al Qaeda, whatever, and I survived all, yeah. and I'm still here. And you're still here. Yeah. So, you know, that's the, that's the, that shows how, you know, how focused we are and how original my style is, and that's why we are still surviving. Mm. Have you made money though? Of course. Um, we 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 are the pioneers who who advocated for musicians to get money. Mm. So if we if we, we were not making money, then why would we why would I be advocating for, for, for yeah. other musicians? Um, I wouldn't say I'm the richest musician, mm. but I'm not you know I'm not poor, as people are claiming. And Who are the people? Just go straight. Um, uh, the Somi <laughs> movement. I, I call them the Somi movement. Who, mm. These are people who have. Um, um, say whatever they, they haven't have decided, seen anything. They have decided to close their eyes and they, to they will attack any person 
in Ghana. They've attacked everybody, the media, DJs, and the bloggers, and now attacking artists. They've attacked almost all the artists in Ghana. They say it's a way of promoting their stuff, their trying stuff. to Yeah, yeah. and um, it's on. not working this time, because now talent is talking. You know, if, if you check the current trend of music, we don't play a lot of, a lot of, um, you know, the old songs. Old songs. Yeah, like there's those, the Kwame Ujins. Now the Kwame Ujins, the Kwesiata. Yeah. You know, I just, I, I, in America, Kwesiata is every the Ghanaians over there, the Africans, they want to see Kwesiata. Wow. Nobody want to see Sami movement anywhere. Okay. It? So, you know, the game has changed. Changed. And um, now talent reigns. It's not. It's not giddy giddy. It's not hype. And I think people are finding difficulty in this time because we have recognized talent. Talent. And they are. They are. You know, gradually. You know, by, you know, sliding down. And they want to use any other means, means to, to, to come get up, there. and it's not working. Okay, but but wait, moving forward, what do you think we should do? What do you think all these people should do? Because we want to keep the industry go going. growing yeah. and going. Yeah. So moving forward, you have been here and there. You've done it all. What I'm do you think we should? It. And yeah, you're I mean, still doing been, it, yeah. and you're out with Pokum. Yeah, Pokum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the thing is, um, Ghanaian musicians, we lack unification okay you know and um to me i think we should when we come together and support each other we can push each other high mm. you know nobody can stand alone and win this game okay you know it's 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 a collective movement movement so when we are when we come together that's when we can push but if we want to do it alone people feel like oh i did this the others are not doing this, so yeah. I am the boss. No, it's not like that. You know, if you go and die, you die alone. Mm. But when you pray, yeah. and I've seen my Nigerian um, brothers, brothers doing it. You know, recently there was a big show at the O2 for Tiwa Savage, mm -hmm. and all the other Nigerian artists Came were there board. to support. Ghana, Ghana man goes to do, has a show, his own show, out there, and he wouldn't even want any other Ghanaian artist to come because he wants to go and do it and show that, oh, I'm the one who, who is did it. it. And yeah. that's what is killing our industry. Secondly, we need business models. You know, we need people to invest because out there, there are people, uh, you do the music and somebody is also doing the business side mm. of it. Mm. But here you have to combine everything. everything. Like for me, I've done everything myself all this while i have to pay for my own videos you know i have to pay to do my own videos i have to pay for um, studio, studio you know pay bloggers pay djs and you can't do it all yeah and and so you know your your your, your work becomes limited so when we have all the system uh, you know good things in place and we have investors i think the music industry in Ghana oh, will boom. Okay, yeah. definitely. Uh, let's let's do some personal stuff now. Yeah. Um, it wasn't too recent, but I mean recently, uh, there was a video out there. Somebody claiming that your mom is dead. You yeah. came out. Um, it all has to do with social media. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to um, find out from you what, what what you make of the social media because when you started, there was no social yeah, media. Yeah, now, yeah, yeah. now yeah, what, yeah. what is the influence apart from uh, influencing your music to get to the other parts of the world? Uh, what has social media done? Um, social for you? media is, is a killer, and it's also at the same time it's, 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 it's helping in a way because if you do a song here, those days you do a song. It takes time for for the song to travel. Mm. Now you can do a song here today, and tomorrow somebody is in India, somebody is in somewhere far away yeah, listening, listening to, to your the song. song. So it's helping. The other side is um, you know, uh, uh, you know, excuse me to say, but Ghana is is not a developed country. We are developing. Okay. So. Uh, there are some of the bloggers, uh, I call them third world bloggers, they, they don't have any knowledge about blogging, but because they see other people doing it, they, they just go out there and say, well, I'm a blogger, 
you know and um these people will do whatever to create traffic to their website okay because it doesn't make sense nobody would do that that you go on social media you even go to the extent of interviewing some people and claiming the the person you are interviewing is my mom meanwhile my mom is in suedro so you know it's so unfortunate that you know we have people like that third world bloggers you know doing whatever to create traffic, traffic. thank god we have people like you who are doing beautiful work oh you know and the world is talking about it I'm and blushing. Um, god is still <laughs> blessing you guys and taking you higher mm. we we say no to third world bloggers you know of course i'm sure they are listening yeah they are, they are watching <laughs> yeah. you guys no to you but they are there you can do whatever the traffic will not come because mm. yeah it's social media and now the world is open so yeah. truth is also always available yeah mm. um i first of all this uh, th i know that this is personal to you yeah. uh, but uh, the last time i heard you lost your baby yeah. how how did you you know, manage to get over that um i've gone through a lot you know i've gone through a lot of stuff you know um my 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 dad died you know when things were not you know on point yeah and um i went through a lot you know during that time um me myself sometimes i call myself a dead man living mm. because I've, I've been through accidents i've been through so many so stuff many things and um i'm still here so it's only god's doing that i'm still alive um my wife was pregnant and um we, we kept it on a low and uh, the day she gave birth, you know, things didn't go right. So we, you know, God, I think God took the baby back. And, um, you know, I, I, I recollected some of the things that had happened to okay. me before. And I yeah. said, oh, all these things God had made me, you know, had made me go through them. So this one too, I will endure it and go through it. And um. That's the only way I encourage myself so, to stay strong. Do you go to church though? Do you pray? I, I pray a lot. You know, I pray a lot. I don't go to church often, but um, I, I don't. To me, I don't believe I have to go to church, church. before okay. I, I, I get closer to God. You know, um, God lives in me, and um, when I when I speak to Him, He listens. Mm. So. Um, I'm not saying is you know I don't want to go to church. Mm. It's a time that I've, I have not I have not gotten to go to, to, church, go to church, but I believe in God and I believe He is the Maker. He is the supreme Maker of all things. Yeah. What do you make of perceptions that you know these musicians they don't go to church, they don't pray, they don't even believe in God. Some are involved in sakawa and all those things. What, what do you make of that I'm perception? A, because I'm not involved in any of that. Mm. In the, and I believe in God. Okay. I don't. I don't want to speak for other musicians. Other musicians. But to me, I believe in God. Me and my family, my friends, my, my team, we believe in God and God first in whatever we do. Mm. Yeah. I would like to talk about more about the song, but we need to pray first. Okay. Uh, for a successful interview, right. for a successful journey yeah. back from the U.S. Yeah. For God keeping you alive yeah. because you're going to stay alive till, I don't know, till Tear, 200. Tear, tear, tear. 200. Let me give you 200. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> so we pray and then uh, we can, you know, talk about the more about the cut, the, uh, the, the, the new, pokum. the pokum. Yeah. <laughs> so it's your turn to pray for us. Um, oh God, we thank you for this day. Um, we thank you for traveling mercies. We thank you for bringing um, Becky here in our studios and um, running everything smoothly. Amen. We thank you for, for life and all that comes with it. We know that the future holds bright and with you we can reach it and be happy with, with what, what we have. Mm. God bless us and keep us going. We are your, your, your children. And you know what we're going to make of tomorrow. We don't know it. Let our tomorrow be blessed. Bless our works. Amen. And bless our family. We pray 
In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I hope that the pokum is not for Shatawali because he has a show coming up. Would you be there to support uh, since you <laughs> were just preaching about supporting the industry and coming uh, together? Yeah, we, in America, we, we, we all want to support each other. But okay. if somebody disrespects you... Does he uh, have to come and apologize because you feel disrespected? Yeah, I feel disrespected. You know, and... Um, I don't need him to come and apologize. But you can go. I want him to tell his fans to reason up what they are there because, mm. you know, me, my fans never insult anybody's mother. Yeah. But I can show you, like today, hundreds of them, hundreds of tweets, your mother, your mother, yeah, 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 convict and all that. Oh, the, the fans of Shatawale doing yes. that? Because he started it. Okay. He he was like me. Kwakese, if you know get sense, if you know you know get sense. Oh. Kwakese is poor. Kwakese is this, and the fans take it. So when it happens like that, even if he is this, if he is not doing it, the fans are the doing fans it. The fans are doing it. So I will not sit down and watch people just insult me here and there. Definitely. So I will give it to them back. And giving it to the fans is giving it to Shatta. Yeah. So he has to come out and stop these things. He it's not me alone. It's not my fault. Shatta has fought with Sarkodie, Stoneboy, Samini, Ponobiem, Obrafo, Tic Tac. He's he has disrespected everybody. Media people, DJs, Chatter House. He has even disrespected Ghana itself. He has disrespected pastors, churches, and all that. And he has disrespected himself. Such a person don't need anybody's respect. What he has here. But if he, he is going to be human enough to, 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 to know, say, oh, we are all human beings. You know, the money you are counting on social media, it could be fake. It could be, it could cause, you know, let me tell you. Let's make it things, you know, real, clear. clear. Okay. Just recently, his wife was running a container business. Yeah. And he comes on social media and put a lot of money there. The container was closed by AMA. If you have all that money, Go and get your wife a place for him to run for her That's to run right. her business. You you get the I yeah. understand. So social media is fake. Most of the news on social media is fake. So you can't come and count fake money and say other musicians are poor. What is here? Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, I have my own house. I don't rent. I even if it's one room. It's my house. Mm. I don't rent. <laughs> I have my own car. I, my kids go to best schools. I pay a lot. I take care of my house. You don't do any of that for, for me. Nobody does that. I never came out on TV to beg. So I'm suffering. So Ghanaians should come and help, help me. So if you go and sit somewhere and say, I am poor. Very, very poor. It means you have hate in you so until that hate comes out of you i will not give you a face mm. and that is what is happening so i'm sorry this thing is happening but it's just that somebody don't have sense and somebody wants to pump sense into his mind mm. yeah well on that beautiful note come back for unity for Legon or John, you for stop that stupidity. No get pa, it be we run the economy. Pa, 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 master stop that tautology. I am the war and the peacemaker. A1 bread, Mahama big figure. Intija. Pile to me, I'm master Ensida. Emi de min yao. Dedi ala ubi abo. My school son, Melanie, down. Walk for China, I'll buy.